Good morning. It's uh, the first morning at TED, and in about two hours we will have our master classes. Um, I'll be guiding with mode and fab. It's Salon C and follow me. So this is what we're going to do. We will have a master class that is divided in two parts. In the one part, I'll be talking about new technologies uh, that we believe and convergences that we believe that will change the design and manufacturing um, industry forever. And the second part will be the fun part where the attendees can either get involved with the laser cutters, 3D printers, etc., or assemble some of the kits that we produced for them. So this is the setup of the room. We have uh, 30 people. We will have 30 people in the session. And the first thing we did was we brought a bunch of artifacts that are really cool that are made with our technologies with one to 3D make. Uh, follow me and let's take a look. So out of these artifacts, our attendees will be able to assemble themselves as a part of the workshop, either this uh, Venus statue or some of the four Louis Leakey humanoid skulls or they will make this phenomenal mirror or save the rhino, very important, <laughs> against poaching, or we have a pen holder inspired by a Corinthian column, or they can make one of the heads. We also have the newspaper stand um, or magazine uh, rack that uh, they will be uh, making out of bamboo. So these are the exhibits that should inspire them to understand at least one workflow or one use case in the RIP modern fab workflow. On this side, we have gathered here um, examples of those new technologies that we'll be talking about. We have a laser scanner from Faro, an arm scanner. We have a laser cutter from Epilogue. And we have a maker bot. All of them are in functional mode, and during the hands on part of the workshop, they will be working so users can, uh, attendees can see how it all works. And then here are all the kits that we have um, cut, pre cut for them, so they can make the skulls, the ball, say the rhino, mirror, Venus head, hat, um, pen holder, and the magazine rack. For the end, what we also did. As a giveaway, they will probably not be able to assemble everything here, so we prepared both the bags with instructions of how to do that at home. And we have a giveaway as one another case of personalization in the future. It is a um, headphone holder <clears throat> or rep that was designed by a young postgraduate student and it's currently sold in Panoco. Um, I've taken that and customized it and then personalized it for our attendees. So each attendee as a uh, takeaway, as a giveaway, will receive a personalized, with their names, um, headphone rep. And that's about it. Wish us luck. <laughs>